Hey guys, I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome back to another Chewy Mew review. Okay, so, Peter B. Parker, from the Into the Spider-Verse movie, screw you, Frogman! Frogman sucks! And then you got a crazy smile there on his face, pretty nice. He can actually hold the soda, that's pretty good, you got some uh, rubber band looking things here. Is it supposed to look sloppy like that? I'm complaining too much. Uh, you know I'm gonna say, I think those are reused hands. You guys know what fists look like. Which, there's the face, looks kind of angry. I would have liked if they give, if they, uh, if they gave you, like, the one where he's, like, in his suit. Oh, he's not even wearing matching boots. I didn't notice that in the movie. It's like the, the, the animated series kind of spider logo. You got a zipper there in his pockets and stuff. But there's his pants there. I like that he's wearing uh, sweatpants. He's not wearing like a... Uh, he's not even wearing jeans. He's wearing sweatpants. Can't look on the back. There's a butt there. Not like anyone cares, really. Um, oh, that's really cool. Like, I like how the the boots... He's not He's not even wearing the same kind of shoes. I didn't notice that in the movie. I thought he was uh, wearing... In the movie, I thought he was just wearing uh, two of these boots. But I, I guess not. Really scared to break that. So uh, the one good thing which why I wanted to get this was because it looks very unique. It looks much different than the most of the Hasbro figures. With most of the Hasbro figures, they all look the same to me. They all look they all look the same to me. But this guy, this guy looks different. The uh, like the body sculpt, I think it's different. I think the the arms might be the same as other guys. But as far as the body goes, this is an original sculpt, which I love that that they. This guy, and I think the Miles Morales too. it's a brand new sculpt, they didn't reuse like a previous body or something. And this neck joint, ah, uh, it moves in so, so sticky there, like, I'm really afraid to break it. Ah, uh, the knees are hard to bend too. I'm so scared of breaking the joints. Like, they feel really stiff. I don't know if that's by design or just like the one that I got just happened to be really stiff. Maybe it's, this one has an issue because the plastic there looks... The plastic right there looks kind of messed up compared to that one. Maybe it's just like a... Maybe I just got bad luck and this one came out weird. There's his face. You see he's got the 5 o'clock shadow there. Focus. He doesn't... He didn't shave and he has like the crazy comb over. Kind of reminds me of the Toby uh, Spider-Man, which I guess Peter in general has a uh, hair like that. Look at the eyes there. I feel like uh, the figures have the best faces when it's a cart when it's like a cartoon face. Or it's like... It's not like an actual human they're trying to copy because it feels... Uh, when they do that, it feels a little, little, uh, I don't know, it feels kind of weird to me, you know? Like, the real faces, it looks kind of like, like, like a video game where it doesn't look quite like a real face. Like, it looks like you can tell who it is, but it doesn't look, you know, like, doesn't look real life, you know? So there's the figure, and the good thing is this figure on the bottom of the foot, uh, yeah, they, they reuse this. Freaking Hasbro, it says 2018. Marvel 2018 Spa and CP2. Or I, I, I don't know. Why does it say 2018? You see, this is why I don't like Hasbro. They don't even change the date on the bottom of a foot that came out in 2021. Stupid Hasbro. I think he also has a ball joint here in the waist. Kind of does, but the jacket kind of blocks it. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks kind of fat. I like that he's kind of hunched over by default. Like he's kind of hunched over. I think the, the figure looks pretty nice. I don't really have much to say about it, though, but I like the texturing on the jacket. It looks, it looks, actually looks like actual material, like some kind of, I don't even know what material is, Look, looks like some, some kind of shiny, like a, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that would be really cool if his jacket had, like, a price tag on it, like, in the movie, if his jacket had, like, a price tag somewhere to show, like, like, he just got it, like, from Goodwill or something like that. Also, let's try this. Oh, the elbows are so hard to bend. I'm so scared I'm going to break them. Why are these joints so hard? I... Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to try breaking that. I don't know why the arms are so stiff. Ah, oh, really? They're so stiff. I'm not... Like, yeah, the... the This joint right here won't bend. What the heck? I'm going to probably heat it up with... I'm going to heat it up probably like the boiling method. And you can put the cup in his hand. And you, you, because, uh, his arm is kind of stupid there, you can't, can't reach the face. I don't know why that arm is so weird. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna stop complaining. Drop the thing, we can swap out his hands here. Okay, at least the hands aren't stiff, you know? 
I'm always so scared taking out hands that I'm going to break them. Let's put on a web shooting hand. Let's put on a fist hand. Typically, when I display Spider-Man figures that have alternate hands, which I don't really have any, I typically just give him, like, fisted hands, unless he's, like, in some kind of web pose. But there he is with his alternate hands. I don't know what's wrong with this figure. There's, like, I think I think the one I got was just kind of bad. Like, some spots, I'm scared of breaking joints. Probably going to do, like, the heating up thing so you can adjust them. Also, notice here the legs. The legs, it looks like they go out a little farther than the normal Hasbro figures. They go up. They don't go up as much, though. I think this looks really, really good. Um... I think as far as the figure looks, I'm gonna be honest, I think it looks a little blah, but, come on, um, I'm so scared of breaking stuff on this figure, um, pop this head on, come on, oh, I don't know why the second head with these figures is always so hard to put on, but there he is with his, uh, with his, looks like a Spider-Man beanie, I don't know why this whole camera setup here is just so stupid right now, I don't know why, I don't know what's going on here. I think he lo it looks looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. I think he he's probably probably maybe my favorite uh, Hasbro figure. I think this looks absolutely amazing. I think it looks really good. The only problem is I think mine had some quality control problems where some of the double joints they don't work right. Oh, I didn't notice this. He has a rotation there. Looks like it could kind of pop out if you tried. I'm not gonna try that though. I think it looks really really nice. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna swap. His hands back. I like how he has like a looks like a karate chopping hand. Um, yeah, I really wish in this build a figure wave they would have given like they give stupid Frogman. Who no one cares about Frogman. Like if Frogman didn't exist, no one would care. Like just pretend I'm holding Frogman right here. Do you even care? <laughs> I'm being very salty. I don't know why, but I think it looks good. I'm just really annoyed that the arm doesn't the arm doesn't move. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna probably, like, file that down, because there's, like, a little plastic thing right there. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna, like... Like, I could even take this tool and, like, maybe scratch off some of the... Some of the plastic, just scratch a little off right there. I could probably do that, right? Yeah, just do a little scratching. Well, the thing is, it's going to look, the paint's going to look a little faded, but, I mean, you know, whatever, you know? That ah, makes it a little better. Still kind of, still kind of stiff. Oh, well. And let's try this one again. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't think, it, I don't think it's all these figures. I think it's just, like, mine. Maybe that's why this jerk was selling it so cheap. Maybe he opened the package and he retaped it. And then, uh, cause he noticed all oh, the, the joints are kind of suck. I'm going to sell it cheap. You know, maybe he did that. I don't know. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. The arms, uh, the articulation, it's, it, I think the articulation is good. I mean, I don't expect much on articulation from Hasbro really. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, but, uh, I mainly got it cause it looks, the design looks very unique. Like, um, that's why I don't get many Hasbro figures cause I feel like they don't look uh, they look very similar. My favorite Hasbro, pretty much my only complaints with this guy are that, I guess on mine, the joints are kind of dumb. You can put his head on that, you can't. But yeah, I think that's, that's like my only nitpick with this one. I have some other nitpicks, of course. But, uh, like, yeah, they're just, on mine, some of the joints are just kind of stupid. I don't know why, like, some of the joints are kind of weird. Hasbro, you failed me. You gave me Frogman. Who is Frogman and who is the Hand Ninja? Who are these losers? He looks... Oh, yeah. There's, there's something wrong with this figure. Look at when I pull that. It kind of comes out. I don't think that's supposed to happen. The head looks up all the way. Looks down all the way. Rotates all the way around. Uh, doesn't have too much mobility. Actually, never mind. It has pretty good mobility there. The, uh, the arms rotate all the way around. Uh, rotation here. They go, they go up that far. He does have a bevel, double bend in the elbow, but it's really stiff on that hand. I don't know why. Rotation here in the wrist. Hinge in the wrist. Move his arms out of the way. He has a ball joint in the torso. Pretty good ball joint there in the torso. It's kind of hard to move because of the jacket, but you still got a lot of motion there. Um, and then the... I think he has a he has a waist level. I don't know if... It's hard to tell if he has uh, more articulation because of the jacket, but that's pretty good still. The legs kick up about 90 degrees. They go back a bit. They go back actually a bit. He can't, he can't do the splits, but he can do pretty good, which I wouldn't expect him to do the splits. He's kind of old. 
rotation here in the upper the upper thigh double bend in the knee but on this leg it doesn't work too good on the other one it works pretty good put that back down rotation here in the shin Our foot goes forward it goes back and has a good ankle pivot rotates all the way around on this foot it kind of is the same it's just kind of stiff because uh the boot they're not the same kind of shoe you know i think 30 minutes i'm gonna have to edit this down but yeah thank you for watching this video if you liked it you know leave a like let me know what you think about this figure <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about this figure. Uh, if you like the video, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Leave a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll put a link in the description to all my uh, all my figure reviews. A lot of cool ones there. And I will see you guys in the next review. Wow.